हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोड्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू एच सिंबल्स एंड इमोजीज वी यूज इमोजीज इन आर डेली लाइफ वेदर इट बी टेक्सटिंग योर फ्रेंड्स और एनी अदर पर्सन इमोजीज प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन मेकिंग योर टेक्सट मोर एक्सप्रेसिव राइट सो इन दिस टूटोरियल विल सी हाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट इमोजीज एंड सिम्बल्स ऑन अ वेब पेज टू मेक इट लुक अ बिट मोर इंटरक्टिव टू द यूजर so before we begin if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel already make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos so without any further delay let's get started we came across entities in the last video an entity in html is a piece of string that begins with an ampersand and ends with a semicolon entities are used mostly for reserved characters This is a simple definition of entities in HTML. We saw how to use entities in HTML in the previous topic. So please go through it once guys if you skipped that part. It's important to go through entities before we move on to symbols and emojis. Now, talking about emojis and symbols, we have in HTML, we can't use them directly on a web page. Each symbol or emoji has an alternate entity that is used to add it to a web page. so we'll go through a few of them as it is not possible to go through each emoji at once so you will basically get an idea about emojis in html now to display a character or emoji on a web page the browser must know the char set used in the web page we need to specify the char set in the meta tag so if you can see here we have written meta char set is equals to utf8 over here right This is the default char set used in an HTML document. So if you are using VS Code, then you will see this piece of code is already mentioned in your HTML program. So there are many characters that we cannot type using the keyboard. We need to use entities for them. In UTF-8, there are specific entity numbers for each alphabet, character, and symbol. For example. If we want to print the alphabet A on the web page with the help of an entity number, then we have to write it like so. Let's do it over here. We'll move to a body tag, and we'll write here P inside the paragraph tag. We'll mention an entity. So an entity starts with an ampersand. Then we have to put hash for decimal values, and then we have to write here sixty-five. Now save the program, and you can see we have A written over here. Fine. So this is the code for. upper case a fine the numbers following 65 will get us b c d etc so you have seen here that we have a for 65 similarly for 66 we have b for 67 we have c and so on fine for lower case letters we can use numbers from 97 and ahead so if we write here hash #97 save it now and you can see we have small a written over here a in lower case fine so we can use similar numbers for all the alphabets now let's move ahead and we'll discuss about emojis now emojis play a vital role in texting and expressing your feelings so to add an emoji we use entities in html the entities value can be either a number or a hex value we can use any of them For example, let's make a winking face over here on the browser. So what we'll do is we'll write here inside the paragraph tag. We'll use a break tag over here first. Now inside the paragraph tag, we'll use the style attribute and we'll increase the font size. Let's say the font size is going to be hundred pixels. We'll put semicolon over here. Now we'll write over here. Let's say ampersand. then after ampersand we have to mention hash for decimal values keep this thing in mind then we have to write here 1 to 8 521 so this is the code for winking emoji save it now and here you can see we have this winking emoji present over here let's reduce the font size a bit so we'll mention 50 pixels over here so you can see the winking emoji over here now similarly we can add so many emojis in html Another way of doing the same task is by using the hex value. For hex value, what we need to do is we need to write here ampersand. Then we have to put hash. Then we have to put x. Then we have to put the hex value. So 
this is the hex value for winking emoji save it now and you can see we have another winking emoji present over here fine so both the statements over here will do the same task the winking emoji is here on the browser we can use other emojis as well so let's use few of them what we'll do is we'll write over here so one thing we'll do is we'll copy it from here we'll paste it here for several times so because the last two digits will change only the rest will remain the same so we'll use them from 1 2 then we have 1 3 1 4 1 5 and 1 6 save the program and here you can see we have all the emojis present over here fine i hope you guys are well aware of the names of these emojis because i'm not that much aware of the names so i can use them but i don't know the names so you can know them repeat so you can get the value from google or if you know the emoji name then you can get the value so easily fine just like emojis we can also use entity numbers or names for mathematical symbols for example if we want to display the euro we can display it in three different ways so what we'll do is we'll display euro in three different ways so we'll use break tag over here and then we'll use paragraph tag three times so we'll write here ampersand euro first here we have used name and then we have let's use another paragraph tag fine so we'll use another paragraph tag this time we are going to use the numeric value so we'll write here m percent hash then the numeric value is eight three six four now we have to mention the paragraph tag again here this time we are going to use the hex value fine so we have to write here two zero a c fine so here we have named entity for the euro an entity number and a hex value for the entity so the output will remain the same in all the cases save the program and move to the browser you can see here we have three euro symbols present over here for three different entities once we have used name over here then we have used number over here and then finally we have used the hex value over here fine similarly for indian rupee what we can do is we can write over here ampersand hash then we have the code as 8377 fine save it now and here you can see we have rupee as well present over here on the browser so we can use math symbols as well for that what we have to do is we have to write over here so we'll use some symbols fine we'll use the break tag ones then we'll use the paragraph tag we'll mention style over here then we'll increase the font size font size is going to be let's say 50 pixels for each symbol fine now we are going to use symbols over here so we'll mention over here ampersand then we have to write hash over here then we'll write 8704 save it now and here you can see we have this for all symbol present over here so let me just remove these euros and all for once save it now and here you can see we have for all symbol present over here similarly we'll copy it from here just like we did for emojis we'll paste it here several times and we'll change the last digits fine so last two digits maybe sometime or mostly last digit so we'll mention one zero over here save it now and here you can see we have different symbols present over here fine these all are mathematical symbols basically we can't remember the exact value for all of them but we can search for them anytime right now we can say that we have a decent idea of what entities are and how we can use them in html so that's all for this video guys see you in another session if you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you